Hey, welcome to the preparatory ground instruction for exercise 14, which will prepare you for your flight lesson in spiral dives. So a spiral dive is a steep descending turn in which airspeed, rate of descent, and wing loading are all increasing rapidly. The risks of a spiral dive are you have a rapid loss of altitude, you have the chance of encountering a high speed stall, and you could incur structural damage on the aircraft. Because the two can seem similar at first, just remember this. For a spin to occur, one or both of the wings must be stalled. Therefore, airspeed must be low and constant. In a spiral dive, the aircraft is rapidly picking up too much speed too quickly, thus airspeed will be high and increasing. Review the instructions for how to recover from a spiral dive in your POH and use it as a supplement for the training provided in this lesson. So we don't actually teach students how to enter a spiral dive, only how to recover from one. This is because recovery must not be delayed as the structural limits of the aircraft might be exceeded. Two ways a pilot might enter a spiral dive inadvertently are an incorrectly managed steep turn or VFR into IMC, such as flying into clouds. This is usually due to pilot disorientation as without reference to the horizon, it becomes almost impossible to hold straight and level flight. Just a quick note here, I once almost put the aircraft into a spiral dive when I was first learning how to fly under the hood and my instructor deliberately distracted me. It's very easy to lose orientation in IMC. So we've already discussed how you can recognize a spiral dive, nose down, steep bank, and increasing VSI and ASI. Let's look at the recovery. And the recovery must be done, as I said, immediately on command. So it's bring power to idle, carpet on, level the wings using coordinated aileron and rudder control. Then, once the wings are level, gently ease out of the dive. And once a cruise attitude has been achieved, you can return to cruise power. Okay, let's look at some safety considerations. One thing to note is you need to immediately reduce the power to idle. Make it instinctual so that if you do inadvertently enter a spiral dive, you're going to recover doing that right away. Also, do not pull up before leveling the wings. Remember that this increases wing loading and there's already a good chance you're past the safe maneuvering speed or VA for your aircraft. Increasing loading at this point could cause structural damage to the aircraft. And lastly, here are some review questions for you. And if you do have any questions on this topic, just make sure that you bring them to your next flight. 